So the future of this YouTube channel is uncertain. And that's okay. Frankly speaking, I just do not have the time to be as active on YouTube as I used to. This is honestly a great problem to have. I mean, I've been fortunate in that voiceover uh, has kept me very busy. And that has always been my number one passion. YouTube has never been my passion or my dream or anything. I kind of accidentally stumbled into this. And I've always been immensely grateful for this channel's success. And I've always had fun doing it. But I have fun because I stubbornly and to my own detriment, do it my way. Now, there have been a lot of YouTube creators recently that have suffered immense burnout and have called it quits for good. And honestly, I get it. The most daunting challenge that YouTube creators have to face is the algorithm. And if the algorithm doesn't favor you for whatever reason, too bad. You could be the algorithm's golden child one year and the next year, you're dead. In fact, to illustrate just how insane it is to have to depend on an algorithm, 89% of my views come from the homepage, and 9% of views come from people who check their subscriptions feed. That means I have to hope that the algorithm decides to show my audience my videos on the homepage, because that's all they're checking. So you're just a PSA. Even if I do end this channel or whatever, this isn't even for me. This is for my peers who have to deal with this shit. For the love of God, if you are watching this and there are YouTube creators that you want to support, please do not bookmark YouTube's homepage. Bookmark the subscriptions page, or it's right there. There's a subscriptions tab, okay? YouTube.com slash feed slash subscriptions. I truly cannot count how many times I have seen people go, oh, how did I miss this video? Oh, I haven't seen you in my feed for months. This is why, this is where you can see your subscribed channel's videos. This isn't even for my sake. This is just for any YouTube channel you like and want to support. Please go to this page instead. Do not let an algorithm feed you what to watch. People always wonder, oh, this YouTube channel I really liked. They kind of started dwindling and then they just disappeared. Uh, that's why. YouTube is a fickle piece of shit. Now, I have always refused to compromise how I do things. I refuse to chase trends. I refuse to try and please the algorithm. I'm not gonna make a thumbnail of me going, oh! In fact, for those of you who don't know this, I have never made a thumbnail once for this channel since the very beginning. The three, you know, those three randomly generated thumbnails that you get, I've always picked one of those. Since like 2006, I have done it this way. That is idiotic to do <laughs> in modern YouTube. I know this, I know how stupid it is to do this, but that's how I've always done it. Ooh, it's fun to see what three thumbnails come up. I'm gonna pick the one that looks the best. I'm a moron. I also don't turn on ads in the middle of videos. I only do pre-roll, post-roll because I hate watching ads in YouTube videos. I don't want to subject viewers to, oh, here's a random ad break or five ad breaks in the middle of this long video. It drives me crazy. I don't ever, I will never turn them on, <laughs> ever. I would rather quit. With all that said, this is how I actively avoid burnout because I have always had the mindset of, hey, this YouTube train, let's just ride this train doing things my way as long as it lasts. And if it starts to falter or if it disappears, then that's that. And I get a lot of compliments like, hey, your channel feels like old school YouTube. Uh, that's because that's the YouTube era that I like. And I don't have any desire to become like hip and modern and change to fit the algorithm, what the algorithm wants me to be. I feel like the average lifespan of a YouTube channel is usually about five to six years. And I've been going at this for about eight. So I'm just surprised I'm still around for this long on here. Like. I'm grateful and I, <laughs> I, I I didn't expect to keep it going for this long. However, if I want to keep maintaining this YouTube channel by doing the stuff that I want to do the way that I want to do it, it costs money. Got to pay an editor for the food videos. It costs to get the food. All these expenses, they add up. So here's where we're at. This is not like a desperate plea, like please save this YouTube channel. This is all I have. This is just me going, Let's see what happens. I do not want to be beholden to the algorithm. I don't want to have to worry about views. Oh, will this video get enough views? I don't, I can't do this video. I want to do because it doesn't get views. That is what leads to burnout and quitting. That is what bankrupts your creativity and enjoyment. So let's try Patreon. 
patreon.com slash prozd. No fancy tiers. It's a dollar minimum. If you want to pay more, sure, pay what you want. But I'll probably use it to poll for video ideas or, oh, what food video should I do next? Stuff like that. Very casual. If you like videos like me trying different food, or if you like my Let's Play channel, Prosody Plays Games, which, by the way, if you don't know what that is, I love doing that channel. Go, there's a link down there, Prosody Plays Games. Check it out. Or if you like the board game reviews that nobody watches, or really any of the videos that aren't the skits, this Patreon will determine if these videos are feasible to continue making. I have ideas I want to try. I, I mean, maybe even like, I don't know, a potential new podcast or two or different videos I want to try that I think might be riskier or whatever. But I can't depend on a fickle algorithm for these things. And if it turns out people aren't interested, then that's okay too. That means it's time to just gracefully step away from YouTube and focus my attention on other things. It doesn't mean I'm leaving the internet forever or I'll never post a video on this channel again. Nothing dramatic like that. But it would mean the end of this channel in the form that it has existed from the beginning until now. So stuff like food videos or it breaks my heart because I love it so much, the Let's Play channel. Any videos that require extensive editing, that would all have to end. So. Let's see what happens. I like doing YouTube. I'd like to stick around and make videos I like making, but if it's time to move on, that's that. If you'd like to help make that happen, if you'd like to help keep this channel alive, there's a Patreon link in the description, patreon.com slash prozd. But regardless of what happens, uh, I'm grateful you guys have been enjoying stuff and uh, it's been fun either way. Anyways, thanks for watching, homies. Peace.